Minnesota Public Radio's website called Battling Seals. December 14, 1999, a piece by Martin Cast. Governor Ventura's office confirmed that Ventura was never a member of the elite Navy SEALs, but he says he did train to be a SEAL, and that his membership in the Navy's underwater demolition teams was practically the same as being a SEAL. But a former SEAL and journalist of San Diego says the UDTs were not the same as SEALs during Vietnam, and he says Ventura is taking credit for the valor of others. Now once again, I defer to the experts. In this case, I defer to first Governor Ventura, who goes on the record and says he was never a Navy SEAL. And second, I defer to the expertise of Bill Salisbury, who was also a Navy SEAL who is explaining the difference between a SEAL and an underwater demolition technician, which is what Jesse Ventura was. The Governor's Navy passed resurface in the past few days because of an article by Bill Salisbury. Ventura spokesman John Waldo confirms Ventura was in the UDTs, and he says the Governor has never tried to convince people otherwise. Quote Waddle, if you travel with the Governor and spend any amount of time with him, he is very forthcoming and accurate in terms of his relationship with the United States Navy. He talks about the fact that he was in the underwater demolition team. In fact, he has corrected me in the past. Now the article goes on to point out that he hasn't corrected people who are interviewing him on television when they call him a Navy SEAL. Mind is uh, pretty made up about waterboarding, correct? You were waterboarders part of your, uh, part of your Navy yeah. SEAL training, correct? Well, it wasn't part of Navy SEAL training. It was part of what they call SEER school, yes. survival, escape, resistance, evasion. It's, yes. a, it's a school they required you to go to prior to the combat zone of Vietnam. And yes, we were all waterboarded there, and yes, it is torture. So, but he doesn't clear it up. Hey, hold on, I wasn't a SEAL. He did go through SEAL training, so it's accurate when he says that, and they point that out later in the article. Ventura's speeches and interviews reveal a man who rarely speaks point blank, quote, I was a SEAL. Instead, he refers to his basic underwater demolition in SEALs training. Quote Ventura, I can always look back to my Navy SEAL training when the going gets tough. Or he talks about other idiosyncrasies common to both SEALs and UDTs. He also lets other people call him a SEAL without correcting them. They quote an interviewer who said, You had been a Navy SEAL before becoming a wrestler. What's the difference between the kind of body of a Navy SEAL and a wrestler? Ventura, oh, much, much different. I view it in this way. When I was a wrestler, I could pick up buildings. When I was a SEAL, I would scale them. When I was a SEAL. When I was a SEAL. You never were a SEAL. That's the bottom line here. Wikipedia also addresses this issue on the Jesse Ventura Wikipedia page. According to Wikipedia, from September 11, 1969 to September 10, 1975, during the Vietnam War era, Ventura served in the United States Navy. While on active duty, Ventura was part of an underwater demolition team. The UDTs were merged with the Navy SEALs in 1983, eight years after Ventura had left the Navy. Compared to SEALs units, UDTs saw less combat and took fewer casualties. So there you have it. He was a UDT eight years after he got out. Eight years after he got out of the Navy, they merged the UDTs with the SEALs. For Jesse Ventura to call himself a SEAL when he was a UDT, they're two totally different things. And this is where Bill Salisbury gets mad with him, among others. According to the article I was reading, Ross Perot was pretty upset with him about it, too. But the article also shades it a little bit. It says that uh, Jesse Ventura doesn't directly talk about being a SEAL. He talks about idiosyncrasies, things like that. But Jesse Ventura does, in, does indeed talk about being a Navy SEAL. But before I get to that clip, let me go back to the Wikipedia page. Because the Wikipedia page talks about what happened in Vietnam. The last line of the piece about his Navy career on the Wikipedia page, which by the way is sourced. In January 2002, Ventura, who had never specifically claimed to have fought in Vietnam, disclosed for the first time that he did not see combat. 
He did not receive the combat action ribbon, which was awarded to those involved in a firefight or who went on clandestine or special operations where the risk of enemy fire was great or expected. No, no, no. Your typical mission would be to swim under the water and then Stop blow up the ship? Yeah. So you could put the, let's say, the bombs underneath, tape them to a ship. Oh, you don't tape them. They got, they, 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 they what we used to, what were they called, L limpet mines. You swim them, they're round discs, and you just take them up underneath and it'll, it'll Magne magnetically. Mag magnetize right onto the ship. Right on the ship and then swim your ass out of there and get picked up. And somebody hits a button and boom. Oh, no, no, it's time set. Time set, so you've got ten minutes to get out. Get the hell out and swim like hell and get picked up and out of the water, because when that thing goes off in the water, you better not be in it. <laughs> ten minutes, yeah? Was that yeah. Well, it was whatever. whatever you're setting uh, it for. Yeah. Well, here's you did what, that. You did that. I did that one time, Yeah, but it was only a practice, because the Vietnamese didn't have no ships. Right. <laughs> so we did it in Manila Harbor. So what do you get to do in Vietnam? I mean, what do you? I mean, without getting into too many well, in Vietnam, what kind of stuff we, you we, to do? we we were more on land, we, right. we, in the rivers. Yes, to where you'd go up the rivers, but you won't swim in them. They're too dirty. You ain't gonna see nothing. They're filthy. You go up in a PBR. You'd insert. You'd do your business. You'd come back out and you'd get insert back home. what? A bomb in no, the No, insert as a unit. That's called insertion. Insertion. Yeah, I know the only insertion I've done is in a woman. Right, right, right. <laughs> but uh, but you would insert and you'd go do your op, and then you'd come out and when you're done and reboard the PBR at a designated time and place and get back home. Now, despite the fact that Jesse Ventura now admits that he never saw combat action, there he is on Howard Stern's show, going into great detail, describing his combat action in Vietnam. Jesse Ventura is a hypocrite and a liar. Now, when he was asked by Larry King about Sarah Palin, he had the following to say. I didn't want Let's to do move. it. Let's move to Governor Palin, the former governor, soon to be sure. former Governor Palin. What do you make of her resigning? Uh, she's a quitter. Um, let me put it to you this way, Larry, and by not being sexist, she could never make it as a frogman or a Navy SEAL. Well, Jesse, you're probably right. Let me explain something to you. Sarah Palin wouldn't make it as a Navy SEAL? 99% of the people in the military wouldn't make it as a Navy SEAL. They are a very elite group as are the frogmen, the underwater demolition team. But because they are not as well known, you've latched onto the term SEAL. You were not a SEAL. You were not a Navy SEAL. But here you are on Larry King, talking about why you became a Navy SEAL. I meant to ask you, you were a Navy SEAL, and they yeah. have a tremendous image. Was yeah. there ever a time in your life when you thought fear would overcome you? Sure, the first time I jumped out of an airplane, I was afraid of heights. I joined the Navy SEALs so I would conquer that fear. Once again, to make it clear, there were Navy SEALs when Jesse Ventura joined the Navy. He did not join the Navy SEALs. Here he is lying about the fact that, lying about the fact, it's not a fact, lying, claiming that he was a SEAL when he wasn't. And furthermore, criticizing Sarah Palin, saying she'd never make it as a Navy SEAL because she's a quitter. And you know what? Sarah Palin quit as governor. You want to call her quitter, I guess she's got to take that one. But at least she's not a liar. At least she's not going around claiming that she finished her tour as governor, which she never did. At least she's not doing that. To Jesse Ventura and his followers, yes, those of you who want to come on YouTube and get on me when I mock the guy, you explain to me this. I am a United States Marine and I am very forthright about the fact that A, I never saw combat action. B, I was not special forces, I was indeed a cook, because I'm not ashamed of what I did in the military. And I'm not saying that Jesse is. Understand the frogmen were a very elite group. I don't even like to criticize him here on this point. I wish he'd just tell the truth and I wouldn't have to do it. I've got a lot of respect for the Navy SEALs, and I've got a lot of respect for what the Frogmen did. They were, they, they're special forces, folks. They're a very elite group. But to claim you're a SEAL when you're not, and to furthermore criticize other people saying, well, they would never make it as a Navy SEAL, when you didn't either, that is hypocritical as hell. And that is why I continuously attack Jesse Ventura, because everything he brings up, he is this hypocritical on. So to those of you who leave me to hate mail, feel free to keep it coming. But understand, 
I have the facts on my side. What do you have?